President Johnson's telephone conversation with Speaker of the House John McCormick and Congressman Otto Passman on November 29, 1963, at 4.55 p.m. Evaluate this report. It's not going to be like uh, the Nuremberg trial or the railroad strike or anything like that, but uh, this is a... Uh, wait just a second. thinks he'll be ready tomorrow, maybe, and maybe then Monday. He, we think we ought to announce this thing as quickly as we can because Rusk is rather concerned about it. And uh, we'd announce the uh, commission. Uh, say they're going to evaluate the report. I sent you down, if you haven't got it yet, a, a, a complete memorandum on the Pearl Harbor so you'd have it, you know, on yeah. the, the executive yeah. order yeah. and the other things that happened. I just sent it down for information in case you want to get it for sort of a guidance and background. Now here's who I would think, who we think would be, ought to, would make pretty good ones. And I want to tell it to you and I don't want you to repeat it to a human being because I haven't talked to any of them. Yeah. I've talked to Russell, I've talked to Dick Russell, close this door order. Got to have some outstanding states rights man. And Eastland was kind of headed a resolution investigating it over there. I'd like to get him to call off his investigation. Yeah. I thought I'd take the Chief Justice and John McCloy and Alan Douglas, Dulles, Alan Dulles, Richard Russell, Senator Cooper, and I was considering Representative Boggs, who had been talking about this stuff all the time, and what Boggs? Rahel Boggs, and Congressman Ford. Can I get any better ones that you you think of? I have talked to nobody but Russell about it. Now, I've got to be sure that we, the House and Senate don't mess with them, and that uh, I've got to have someone that can work with the Justice, the Administration, and with Hoover, and uh, that has been interested in it, so uh, it's kind of like the author of a resolution. Uh, I uh, really, just between us, I don't want Eastland, so that's why I got Russell. On the Republican member, I'd have to consult with uh, on the House, you know, the procedure you consult with uh, Halleck. Well, that's on your appointments up there, but this is going to be appointed to the President. Oh, you're going to appoint? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, wh well, what do we do up here? Well, I just, you give me advice. I'm just asking you, do you think there's anybody better that I could get? What's no. your judgment? No. I just, uh, do you know of an abler or better, uh, more patriotic fellow than... Uh, a Republican that would suit this mission if you were president and Ford? No. No. He's a top right man. And, uh, a man who would rise to the consciousness of responsibility, too. And uh, Boggs, uh, you'd feel all right, too, about it, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Has anybody that's shown more interest in it? Or, uh, He's a good man. You couldn't have him. Uh, those are two good men. All right. Now, what do you, don't you think? Uh, you always want to make Mr. Rayburn out of you. Uh, Dick Russell and John Cooper. Yes, Cooper. Dick Russell, yes. But Cooper, of course, is a strong man. Uh, now, Hoover doesn't much like McCloy. Let me see. Uh, plus, you'd have Cooper and uh, Russell from this sure. or the more or less the south. Well, uh, they would be the... Cooper's a border state. Russell would be the south. Yeah. Boggs would be the south. You wouldn't have anyone here ready from the north. Well, I got McCloy. I got well, Dallas. Yeah. I mean, on the legislative level. No, no, no. I have Cooper of Border State, Ford from Michigan, and they consider that pretty north. But I'd have a chief from California, McCloy from New York, Dallas from New York. You're the one to make the decision. Yeah, but I'm just, uh, I just want to get the best judgment. I'm going to make it. Do you know anything about McCloy yourself? Not 
myself, no. My impression is very good of him. I don't, I, I, uh, I, I, I uh, everything I've heard about him, I, I uh, has been very favorable, and is, uh, uh, about the man personally. Now, I've told the chief that Eastland promised me in the Senate that he wouldn't go on, and she would I'd talk to you about it in the House. I don't want to appoint a commission that they're going to start a bunch of investigation, so. Well, as far as the House is concerned, I'll stop it. If you do everything yeah, I can no. to stop investigation. No, no. Well, I think we ought to. We don't want to be testifying. Some fellow coming up in Dallas, and I think Khrushchev uh, planned this whole thing, and uh, he got our president assassinated. And uh, his television saying that the assistant chief said today that he believes Khrushchev did so and so, and we can see what that'll lead to us right quick. Who said that? Nobody said it, but if they do, you know. When are you going to make the appointment? Just quick as I can talk to him and get it and get an executive order drafted and so forth. I better get on with it. I just thought I wanted to talk to you before I did it, my friend. You think it's all right? The theory of the commission is absolutely correct. All right, you I think? Know, I know nothing on the legislative level. Uh, you see, with, the only thought was it was on the legislative level with uh, uh, Russell, Cooper, and Boggs, who have three from the south. No, Russell, uh, uh, Cooper is not a southerner, yeah, and Bo say, but they uh, Boggs is not much of a... No, I agree with you that, uh, uh, but Louise... He's been kind of off in the resolution, you know. He's been wanting to investigate it over there. Who? Boggs. Hale Boggs? Yeah, Hale, he made a speech about it today. Well, he was just answering some questions. Yeah, but he's been getting, he's been on television three or four times about there ought to be a congressional investigation. Well, I hadn't heard of it. Yeah. If I did, I'd have, I'd have spoken to him. Yeah. But uh, Cooper's considered a pretty liberal fellow, you no know. No question about that. And Ford is from the north. Yeah. And Cooper's from a border state. And you got two southerners, but you got two northerners uh, that are civilians. You see what I mean? To offset them. Yes, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I, I, I wasn't undertaking to argue with you. I wouldn't do that under any circumstances. Well, I sure want you to if you disagree with me. You just uh, tell me. But, uh, uh, the, you couldn't have better men. Yeah. But I'm just thinking of the geographical location on the, on the, uh, on the legislative level, and that's something I just simply well. call to your conscious mind for you to consider. That uh, you would have, because uh, Cooper, ten, uh, Kentucky up north is considered south. I agree it's a border state. Well, you see from the public, though, I wouldn't have any southern. What's that? There, there are three men that are appointed to represent the public. Yes. And none of them are southern. No, that's true. Well, you go, listen, you go ahead. Well, you take care of the House of Representatives for me. Well, now, uh, well, how am I going to take care of them? Well, just keep them from investigating. Oh, well, it's mad yeah, yeah. I've been doing it. Well, well goodbye. Now, listen, can yeah. I, I, listen, I got outside, I, I had Otto Pastor in here, and I was doing some yeah. spade work. Yeah. And I want to call him in and sit right. outside right. so you right. can say okay. hello to him, okay. will you? You betcha. I got a Pakistan ambassador waiting on me since 445, but oh. put him in. Put him right in. Pastor, come in. I've been working on him on the front of the I'm going to be running 30 minutes late. Otto. Otto, hurry up, the president. Mr. President. Yes? Here's Otto. I, I, I was having a conference with him when you called me, and he's in the outer office. Well, that's fine. I'd like to say hello to him. Wait a minute, Mr. President. Mr. President. Otto, how are you, my well, friend? God bless you, and uh, remember that I will cooperate in every way that I possibly can, and uh, uh, any time that I can help. Uh, I don't know no, I wish I could trade jobs with you, Arthur. Uh, Otto. I wish I could trade jobs with but you. But I know that you do, and uh, yeah. remember that my prayers are with you, and yeah. I shall do everything within my power no, not to make it any harder than I have to. And I was in here conferring with our great speaker a little while ago about foreign aid. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to be an easy thing, but if and when... Uh, Otto, remember this. Remember this. Yeah. That, uh, this, this is what just between you and me. I don't want you to repeat it to a human, but you've been my friend. The one thing I've found out yeah. since I've been down here... Yeah. In my relations with 110 other nations, about all I've got is foreign aid bill to deal with them with, and uh, we've got more damn problems than you ever saw. I just let yeah. finished talking to the chairman of the uh, Atomic Energy Committee, and uh, uh, he said the only one knew this was Kennedy, and you the only one knows it now. And uh, when he walked out, I wished I hadn't known it, but uh, 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 you can 
you can we're spending over 100 billion this year the budget's being made coming up the 15th and the only thing i've got is a little checkbook of three and a half four billion dollars whatever you give me and you'll cut it some but you've already worked on it and that's the only thing i got is 110 nation now give me a year and i'll try to sit down with you and take your recommendations and and try to make a, a clean up over there in any way that I can do it. I'm practical, I can't do it the first month, but because uh, they say the South is destroying everything. But I'll I'll get my teeth into that and try to clean that agency up where, where it'll smell better to you. But uh, please go home and say your prayers and say, now I'm the banker and I can let Johnson have $400 a month or I can let him have 300 but I'm going to be off. That's all I'm going to have and foreign and aid. That's the only way I can deal with the world. And whatever you cut it to, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause me trouble because uh, Kennedy's not here and I'm new and when I have to cut him back, uh, they're going to say, well, hell, look what he, last year they did this and that's what he did to me. And I'm going to do everything I humanly can, but you do it too. Could I say one thing yes, before sir. we get off the yes, sir. President? Yes, sir. And this will be uh, worthwhile at the proper time. As I told our great speaker here, I think in 17 years I have in, in asked one president to see me for 15 minutes. I don't fool people and they're busy. If and when you want to discuss this with me, I'll come running with our beloved speaker. We'll, we'll do that. I should say this. We'll do it. I won't do it. I'll tell you that now. If you want to do it with me, we'll just do it. And as soon as I can move in this place, we'll just uh, yeah. we'll just sit down and me and you and John will talk about it. Let, let me say, let me do it with, with my speaker because yeah, I, you've do. always been so He'll be here. helpful to me. But I want to say this before we get off the line. And I think this would be something you'll be turning over because when I come, I'll be factual. Last year, I guess maybe I was jumped on by more people and criticized more by cutting four and eight a billion dollars than any other time since I've handled the bill. But they came back this year and said, yes, you took out a billion, but you still gave us a half a billion dollars more than we need, and we're going to lo lose most of it. And see, those are some things I'll have to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. And I told the speaker. I said, these people don't know what they want, what they need. They're just full of bull and they never pin it down. And, but I will say this, there's a half a billion dollars, almost a half over now, 578 million clean, unobligated funds. They were going to give uh, most of it up. I talked to the speaker, and I have arranged to tell these people how to keep a half a billion dollars. It was unobligated, and at the proper time, when you want to talk to me about this, I'll come running, and I will lean over backwards, Mr. President, to help you and my speaker. Thank you, my friend. I'll be calling. Yes, thank you, Bye. Mr. President. I appreciate it. If you want to come in, I want you to come, yeah. and you just invite the speaker or anybody else no, you want to come with you. Uh, when you're ready, Mr. President, right. because okay. you have a lot of response. When you're ready, you tell the speaker, and I want him with us because he knows that my word is my bond. God bless you. Thank right. you, others. God bless Bye. you. Bye. All right, Mr. President.